A sounding rocket, sometimes called a research rocket, is an instrument-carrying rocket designed to take measurements and perform scientific experiments during its sub-orbital flight. The rockets are used to carry instruments from 30 to 90 miles, 48 to 145 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. The altitude generally between weather balloons and satellites. The maximum altitude for balloons is about 25 miles, 40 kilometers, and the minimum for satellites is approximately 75 miles, 121 kilometers. Certain sounding rockets have an apogee between 620 and 930 miles, 1000 and 1500 kilometers, such as the Black Brant X and 12, which is the maximum apogee of their class. Sounding rockets often use military surplus rocket motors. NASA routinely flies the Terrier MK-70 boosted improved Orion, lifting 600-1000 pound, 270 to 450 kilograms payloads into the exoatmospheric region between 60 and 125 miles, 97 and 201 kilometers. Topic: Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origin of the term comes from nautical vocabulary to sound, which is to throw a weighted line from a ship into the water to measure the water's depth. The term itself has its etymological roots in the Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, and French words for probe, which are sonda and sonda, respectively. Sounding in the rocket context is equivalent to taking a measurement. Topic. Design The basic elements of a sounding rocket are a solid-fuel rocket motor and a science payload. Larger, higher-altitude rockets have two to three stages to increase efficiency and payload capability. The freefall part of the flight is an elliptic trajectory with vertical major axis allowing the payload to appear to hover near its apogee. The average flight time is less than 30 minutes, usually between 5 and 20 minutes. The rocket consumes its fuel on the first stage of the rising part of the flight, then separates and falls away, leaving the payload to complete the arc and return to the ground under a parachute. Topic. Advantages. Sounding rockets are advantageous for some research because of their low cost, short lead time sometimes less than six months and their ability to conduct research in areas inaccessible to either balloons or satellites. They are also used as test beds for equipment that will be used in more expensive and risky orbital spaceflight missions. The smaller size of a sounding rocket also makes launching from temporary sites possible allowing for field studies at remote locations, and even in the middle of the ocean, if fired from a ship. Topic. Applications Topic. Meteorology. Weather observations, up to an altitude of 75,000 meters, are done with rocketsons, a kind of sounding rocket for atmospheric observations that consists of a rocket and radiosonde. The latter one record data on temperature, moisture, wind speed and direction, wind shear, atmospheric pressure, and air density during the flight. Position data altitude and latitude, longitude, may also be recorded. Common meteorological rockets are the Loki and Super Loki, typically a 3.7 m tall and powered by a 10 cm diameter solid fuel rocket engine. The rocket engine separates at an altitude of 1,500 m and the rest of the rocket's on coasts to apogee. Highest point. 
This can be set to an altitude of 20,000 meters to 113,000 meters. Rocketsons were used in the fictional television miniseries Category 7, The End of the World. Topic. Research Sounding rockets are commonly used for Research in aeronomy, the study of the upper atmosphere, which requires this tool for in situ measurements in the upper atmosphere Ultraviolet and X-ray astronomy, which require being above the bulk of the Earth's atmosphere Microgravity research, which benefits from a few minutes of weightlessness on rockets launched to altitudes of a few hundred kilometers. Topic operators and programs Andoya Space Center in Norway operates two sounding rocket launch sites, one at Andoya and one at Svalbard has launched sounding rockets since 1962. Poker Flat Research Range is owned by the University of Alaska Fairbanks. The British Skylark rocket was first designed in 1955 and was used for 441 launches before it was terminated in 2005. ISRO's VSSC developed the Rohini sounding rocket series starting in 1967 that reached altitudes of 500 km. Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineering from the Delft University of Technology operates the Stratus sounding rocket program, which reached 21.5. 5 km in 2015 and aims to reach 100 km in 2019. The Australian Space Research Institute ASRI operates a small sounding rocket program SSRP for launching payloads mostly educational to altitudes of about 7 km Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology IIST launched a sounding rocket in May 2012 which reached an altitude of 15 km Viome MK2 is in its conceptual design stage with an objective to reach 70 km altitude with 20 kg payload capacity. The University of Queensland operates Terrier Orion sounding rockets capable of reaching altitudes in excess of 300 km as part of their Highshot Hypersonics research Iranian Space Agency operated its first sounding rocket in February 2007 UP Aerospace operates the Spaceloft XL sounding rocket that can reach altitudes of 225 km Texas and Minitexas, German rocket programs at S-Range for DLR and ESA microgravity research programs Astrium operates missions with sounding rockets on a commercial basis, as prime contractor to ESA or the German Aerospace Center DLR. Maser, Swedish rocket program at S-Range for ESA microgravity research programs Maxis, German Swedish rocket program at S-Range for ESA microgravity research programs Pakistan's SUPARCO launched Rebar series of sounding rockets from 1962 to 1971. Rexis, German Swedish rocket program at S range for DLR and ESA student experiment programs. The NASA sounding rocket program, the JAXA, operates the sounding rockets S series, S310, S520, SS520. USA, New Zealand company Rocket Lab developed the highly adaptable Atea series of sounding rockets to carry 5 to 70 kg payloads to altitudes of 250 km or greater. The Meteor rockets were built in Poland between 1963 and 1974. The Kartika I rocket was built and launched in Indonesia by Lepan on 1964, becoming the third sounding rocket in Asia, after those from Japan and Pakistan. The Soviet Union developed an extensive program using rockets such as the M100, the most used ever. Its successor by its successor state, Russia, is the Mr. 20 and later the Mr. 30. Brazil has been launching its own sounding rockets since 1965. 
The largest and most current family of rocket are the Sonda rockets, which are the R&D basis for Brazil's soon-to-be-launched VLS satellite launcher. The Pilot I rocket was built and launched in Peru by the National Commission for Aerospace Research and Development on 2006, becoming the first sounding rocket of the country and the third rocket in South America, after those from Brazil and Argentina. Topic. See also Aeroby Astroby Black Brandt rocket Boosted Dart Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineering Frank Molina High Power Rocketry Hopi Dart Kartika I Kookaburra rocket Mosquito Model rocket Nike-based sounding rockets Rocket Lab Rahini rocket family Seliger rocket Skylark rocket V2 sounding rocket